We're preparing to leave for the airport. People are starting to arrive for our trip to New Orleans. New Orleans, the local time is 11.55. For your safety, please remain seated with your seatbelt down. Made it. How was it? Here's everybody playing half court knockout. Oh! That was fun. Hey, why don't they just go for that basket back there? Ready for the shot? Hey, hey, guys, make a funny face. Guys, make a funny face. So you were left with a smaller mortgage, but you still had a, a, a flooded house uh, that was useless. Uh, then the government stepped in and tried to do some things, but that didn't go really well. And then if you got some money together and were able to start, you know, trying to hire a contractor, he probably ripped you off, um, which happened to almost everybody. And then you've got... All of a sudden, all of these evangelical groups from all over the country just start flooding the city. And so this church didn't flood. Um, immediately after the storm, as soon as the city opened up, they, we started housing teams here. Uh, for about three years, it was about 70 to 80, to, sometimes up to 100 people. That was going on before the storm. Now, we're able to go and sit down in people's homes and have conversations with them and, and, and share the gospel with them and talk very openly with them. And it's all because teams have come down. And just very open-handedly loved on people, very proud. together. And I, I take the teams out to the French Quarter. We go out, we go to McDonald's, get about 50 hamburgers, load them up in uh, backpacks, and we go out and we witness and we give them out to the homes and we sit in, we talk with them, we uh, we eat with them, you know, and and that does so much for them. Those churches that we literally took into homes of people who we had no business even being in their home as Christians, you know, to proclaim the gospel. Because we were there to love on them, and they had this desperate need. And we didn't go, really, we didn't go in there with an agenda. We'd just go in there and just build a relationship, and pray for them, and hug them, and listen to their story, and help them fix their house, right? So we do that for years, and watch amazing things. Oh, he made it. Inside the spaghetti and meatballs, salad and bread. Delicious. We're going to play Pass the Pigs. I'm playing that there damn scum game. It's fun. You got it. Eight, nine, ten. Come on, 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 come on